hello welcome back to my channel it's your girl lomzi i'm back again with another video today's video is how to make this beautiful dress guys can you guys see it's a beautiful booboo -boo dress can you guys see how beautiful this is looking so i'm going to be showing you how i made this it's very simple and it's beginner friendly very very beginner friendly just few calculations and you're done it's not even enough calculations just few few mede mede <laughs> so if that's what you want to watch continue watching till the end to see how i made this beautiful dress you can actually turn it into an after dress yes you can turn it into an after dress if you don't close up the center so you can actually wrap it like this so guys if this is your first time coming across my channel consider subscribing and hit on the notification bell icon so you don't miss any of my videos now guys don't mind my hair don't look at my hair i'm going to get a haircut this morning so guys if i don't do this this morning you know record this intro this morning i won't be able to upload this video so why don't i upload it but why would i delay the video because i haven't had a haircut yeah so guys let's head to the sewing room to make this i'll be using this fabric this is um is chiffon right yeah is um fixed chiffon so you can use thick chiffon you can use satin you can even use african fabric to do this but if you're using african fabric you have to use like three and a half years for that so i'll be using this fabric and i will need this satin fabric for the trimmings so guys what i have here is actually two years if you're using chiffon or certain fabrics all those type of fabric you will need like two years or two and a half years depending on the length you're working with the next thing i will do the very first thing i will do is just fold this fabric into two lengthwise like that to get the length you want and then you cut it into two Now this will be the one will be for the front and the other one will be for the back. So I'm just going to fold this like this. The same thing to the other one and fold the two of them like that. Now this is it after folding it. You can see these two are unfold. So the first thing I will do after that is go ahead and get the neck measurements the neck width i'm going to use is three and a half inches i'll mark it like this the neck depth i'm going to use is one and a half inches i'll mark that and i'm going to connect this line to this for the neck depth the front neck depth i'm going to come down 12 inches and i'll mark it and on this 12 inches, I'm going to come in one inch. I'll mark it. I'll take this one inch all the way down like that. Then I'm going to connect this to this line. Can you guys see? I hope you can see this. Oh no, let me try and make it. Okay, next I have to do is to come down to my underbust. So I'm going to come down 15 inches on the underbust. Next, on this underbust line, I'm supposed to draw it to the fullest like this. So on this underbust, I'm going to get the bust measurement divided by 4, which is 44 divided by 4 will give me 11 inches. I'm going to add 2 inches to that, which would give me 13 inches. 
and I will add half inch for this side which will give me 13 and a half so I'm going to mark 13 and a half from the center front I'm going to mark 13 and a half from this center front like this I'll mark 13 and a half on the on this line then I'm going to take this I'm going to make an A line I'll come this way like this so just add 13 inches maybe just add 3 inches to that that will be 16 and a half inches like this you will now come that way you will now draw this that way so I'll just draw this like this guys <laughs> this is just basically it next I'm going to cut out the necklines so from here I'm going to cut this out for the front next th this is where the magic comes in we are going to make a hole here it's going to be a big hole for a belt hole so on this place i'm just going to use my free hand and just make a big hole here like this notice that i'm using the silhouette i just mind the a-line i just marked to do this can you guys see what i did I'm just going to cut this hole out. So let me just bring this like this. So this is how it will look. Can you guys see? As you can see, I have sewn one side of it. First of all, what I did was to close the shoulder. After closing the shoulder, then I made this hole. So what you do first of all is to go to your machine. You join the shoulder of the dress. So this is the right side facing together you're going to go ahead and join the shoulder first of all so after joining the shoulder then it will not be like this right it will not be like this after joining the shoulder so next thing you will do is to pick this like this you're going to pick like this like this and you're going to sew it all around so next this is the shoulder I'm going to join the shoulder now. So you just place front and back, right side facing together. Next, you're going to turn it wrong side facing together like this. And you're going to make sure the circles are together. They are they align very well, so you're going to align it very well, the way it is. So now that I've aligned it very well, I'll just go and pick right sides facing together and sew it. So see, look, watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to just flip this over. Flip this over like this. Pick this two like this. And I'm going to go ahead and sew it. Now you're going to flip it out again. Can you see? 
that's the hole we just made now can you guys see yes i'm going to add this to the hem because mine is not the my fabric is not long enough so i need to add to the length so i just cut eight inches and folded it into two like this so i'll just place it here to make up for my fab fabric so if your fabric is two yards and nine inches you don't need to do this So I'll just go ahead and overlock this. Next, I measured this place from the neckline. I folded it, measured it all the way down and used it to cut out the length I want for this. So as you can see, I have joined the back line. So I'm supposed to go and join it like this to the end. But before I join it, I have to measure from here, from the center back, I will measure it to wear to the 12 inches that we had before which is 17 inches so i'm going to go ahead i have ironed this can you guys see so i'm going to measure the 17 inches like that 17 inches like that and i'll go ahead and fold this i will first of all first of all let me notch it so that i will know where to start so I'll notch it here. So I've already done this in one of my videos. If you've been watching my videos, the boo-boos that I've been making lately, if you've been watching them, you will see this also there. This frills a lot. So I'll go ahead and join it. With the help of this, I'm going to sew it in the center like that all the way down. But if you want that, this frills a lot. But if you want a slit, you will just measure the slit where you want the slit from. So, it, say you want the slit to be 12 inches or 10 inches, you will stop there. But I'm just going to close mine all the way down. So, as I'm going to be sewing it to the way down, I'm going to sew it like this. At the edge, I'm going to fold it like this. And sew it in the middle. So, I'll just go ahead and sew it like that guys it wants to rain heavy wants to rain is the wind is too much so i'm not going to i'm just going to like stop here but you know enjoy it while it lasts So just guys, I just had power outage, but I needed to just finish this tutorial and edit this video. So now next thing you have to do is I have finished doing that as you can see. Can you guys see? You can see the V-neck. So I'll just go ahead where this place that is the back of the center back i'll just place it at the notch i made at the back like that and sew it all the way round so you go ahead and sew it all the way around so i will do that and guys that will be the end of this video i'll see you guys on my next one bye -ya.